We're back for a second episode of Challenge Hannah in association with Shopscope, and today the challenge is to try beat DP World Tour winner Eddie Pepperell here at Frilford Heath. Doesn't feel like it's going to be easy. Now, we're going to be playing nine holes here on the red course. I'm definitely going off the red tees, like he can go as far back as they go. Two shots, is that is that about right on a nine over nine holes? You to give me? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. I said that confidently. Right. Well, have fun and take it easy on me. Shot. Follow that then, I guess. Oh, I heard timber. This does not feel like an optimal start. How quickly can we end up one down? Felt like Out. a bit of a cop out that. Why did I accept two shots? Why did I not barter? I'm already regretting that. Yeah, two shots is fine. But is it acceptable to make a tar pro put that? <laughs> That's good. Okay. One down already. It's no. alright. We'll get warmed up. <laughs> he says we'll get warmed up, but the problem is I've been to the range and done a full warm up, and he has not. This is not bad well. Can you talk us through the uh, mini driver choice? Yeah, absolutely. Pretty simple, I'm terrible with a driver. <laughs> Slightly less terrible with this, so. I used a three wood, even when I played well a few years ago, really well, I was using my three wood a lot. I find the dispersion's better with this. I tend to swing it better, keep my body shape a bit better. So when I tee it up high, I just don't feel like I move as well. Mm. I lose my body shape and then obviously I can start to hit it both ways, whereas with this, generally tends to match the rest of my game. Right. R5, straight down there. I'm liking the fact there's a bit of a longer walk to my tee this time. Right, so uh, yeah, par five. I don't know how far I've got, but I'm just gonna hit three wood. If I go play in the British Am, they're saying you'd have to use the new ball, but then I don't want to play with that all the time. Yeah, yeah. So I'd play like English hand with one, British hand with the other, like a... Yeah, no, I, I think that's why the ball is ultimately probably not the way to do it, but seemingly they've decided that is what they want to do. I don't think US Opens need to be made any harder. God. <laughs> Where is my ball? I mean, I striped it, it just drew off the ball below my feet like. Oh, gosh. Oh dear. Hit it. <laughs> Chiffin's not going well today. It's a really good putt. Yeah, well done. Oh. Right, I'll give you that. I feel like that's a pity give me. This is for me to go two down through two. Should not be the best. But, but, <sighs> never in doubt. Not excellent for me. Take it at the trolley up on the right side of the green. Got it. What are you planning on playing in this year? And how do you kind of pick your schedule for the season? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to play from May onwards, really, in Italy, first event, and then I'm, I'm, I've entered everything. Yeah, I'll get going again in May. Won't stop, really. Eddie, remarkable, it's not on the green, even though it's a full one hand off the club and it's only a foot shot. Feels like I really need to take this opportunity. Oh, I read that so badly. Pick it up, that's good. Thanks. Notoriously difficult green to hold putts on this. But notoriously difficult green to hold putts yeah, on. Yeah, I've never <laughs> hold a four foot on this green. So, so when you're on like a par three or you're approaching iron player, how like detailed are you when you're thinking and like club selection and like target and stuff like that? Pretty detailed with an iron, I think more so than off a tee. Obviously, probably for obvious reasons that you need to be a bit more precise with the irons. But see a lot goes into irons, how you're striking it, shot pattern, what the wind is doing, where the pin is, how soft the greens are. So, you know, you factor all that in. I like to have a couple of swing fields that I know give me two different types of shots. So I'll often choose between one of those two mm -hmm. fields and then try and execute it ultimately. Yeah. So anyway, I've got 185 here into a bit of breeze. So. I've got five iron, which I normally hit around 200 yards, so it should be quite a nice number. 
two down. I think Ed is just the green. Shot of the day. <laughs> I Move mean, on. it's not hard at this point to have the shot of the day, but. <laughs> Shot. You can have that after you sure. put in, okay. after you put in display so far. I don't think you're gonna miss that. Kind. I was hoping to be able to give yours on the way out, but it's it's a bit further than it, it looked, isn't yeah. it? Is this also a notoriously hard green to Yeah, these. So. I've never putted well at Frilford, which is why I got kicked out of here as a teenager. Oh. Lucky. Feels like I needed that. Feels like I needed that. Yeah. Good hole, this. You're getting a shot here, though, Hannah. Oh, excellent. So, uh, Finally made it to a shot hole. It is pretty narrow up there though, there's a few bunkers. So really on the flag is kind of perfect for me anyway, back here. Still two down. At least I'm not getting any work on hole five. 358 to the middle. Lots of gorse. It's basically what I'm trying to avoid. Does it not feel weird playing after not playing for so long? Have we been hitting balls and... Yeah, I suspect the first tournament back will be weird. Do you yeah. still get nervous? Uh, not so much nervous. Yeah, a bit of apprehension sometimes early in the week. Especially if you're playing a major or, you know, you're new to an environment. Uh, and yeah, there's a bit of nerves probably. A bit left. I think that hit the green and then skipped off it. I'd really like to roll this in and just feel like I want it, but given I've missed like inside 10 foot in the last two holes. Go! It's a chance. Well, that's that. Pretty good. Free net two. <laughs> what a win. So there's a bunk up the right, which shouldn't really be in play for either of us, to be fair. But I'm going to go left of it. You'll be able to go over it. <laughs> I like this long stroll to the Reds a lot. Although I was kind of thinking that on the first two holes and it didn't really pan out, so. Smack there. Mm. Is that alright? You're fine, I think. Right, what have we got here? Uh, quite a long way actually, 225 um, into the breeze, so I've got three iron. Yeah, I'm going to allow myself some winter rules. What's the reasoning behind the lead tip? Where have I got lead tape? Oh, I've got lead tape on the back of the head. I didn't even <laughs> notice that. I don't know. That will be to do with the swing weight. They've probably just tried to up the swing weight to match it with the rest of the iron. So if, that's all I can assume. But we've put a complex in my head now, so. But it was a really good shot, so I might go and put some lead tape on all of the rest of them. Right, where's my ball? I'm only one down. We're making progress, guys. I feel like a lot of pressure to hit a decent chip shot as well, since I've all done this thin it. Played there, Hannah. That feels like a worldy shot. Well, this is for an eagle in the wind, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, you can have that. I didn't line the last one up, maybe I was better doing that. Oh, solid clutch. Needed that. <laughs> I did need that. <laughs> Thanks for reminding <laughs> me. Just gonna make sure they've gone. Yeah, we better not kill anyone. Especially when it's on camera. <laughs> See, there's a little silver birch between that and, yeah. the, uh, and the bunkers. Right, silver birch. Do you ever play to open a green up there? Like... 140. For me, 170 for you, huh? It's got to that part of the round, has it? So just, just on me, yeah. Needs to be a soft one of these. Could be on Mike's head. I always pull them when I'm trying to hit three quart shots. Nice, so I could roll another one in one at three in a row. Great try. Oh no. Mm. Put, snap that. Cheers. I was a bit worried then. Ten, ten. Oh. Oh, feels like a bad time to go two down. With two to go. At least I get a shot on the next. Hopefully this one goes a bit straight than the last one. 
Yeah, I always wonder if they'll bring in like a mixed match play. Do you know like President's Cup or like Ryder Cup style? It feels like that would be like super cool to watch. Yeah, I think with the President's Cup, with what's happened with Liv, I know people were talking about this last year, that makes sense to me. It adds something different to the President's Cup. It would be a no-brainer in my mind to, to include the women having it half, half mixed. The female internationals um, would be so strong as well, like. Yeah, I think the way it's going, you know, the, it, I think there'll be more and more mixed events on the European Tour, DP World Tour for sure. Right, am I in a gorse bush or not? It's the question. Doesn't feel like I want to use one of my two shots dropping out of a bush. Wow. So I'm gonna hit a little control four iron. Oh, strike. Go the 58, it did redeem itself last time. Oh, that's not all right. Dear me. Oh, it's all right. We've both had a shocker. That makes me feel a lot better about my chip shot. The less said about that, the better, I think, Hannah. Please break. Great try. <sighs> Down the last foot. we go. Oh, God. <laughs> the thing is, Eddie said he doesn't get nervous, so... Yeah. I'm not feeling much optimism here. Oh no, I do get nervous going to the dentist. <laughs> um, it's got a little six iron because it's just not hitting it very far. I might finish with a hole in one there. Well, I'm really happy I'm chipping again. My only chance to half, basically this. What do you think my chances are of holding this? Well, I've got quite a fiddly little putt here, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm going to three putt, but it's not out of the question. Oh, Go. that's like literally low-key awful. <laughs> I feel like I'm just challenging my own mental health right now. This is a tricky putt, he says. Well, it was. I could have easily ran that bye-bye. I played for the win. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. Thanks, Lydia. Appreciate that game. Well played. Thank you, yeah, and you. How does this rank on your wins so far? Well, it's certainly the best one I've had this year. That was uh, fun, <laughs> thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed the course, hope you enjoyed Trollford. I really yeah. enjoy the course. Mm -hmm. I think um, hopefully next time I challenge a bit more. <laughs>